battery switches off and on. Okay, Carol, after your battery switches are on, um, you would come up to your control, and this button here raises and lowers the engine. Obviously, you would put the engine down before starting it and be sure that the engine is in the water boat floating. At that point, you can see the engine is down, and we would come to our key switch right here, turn the key on, and you can see the gauges go on plastic off of them right up there and simply turn it to start and now you can see the end you can't hear it too much it's pretty quiet there's your engine running come up here at that point if you're ready to go you would simply put the Squeeze up underneath on this button underneath here to go into forward. Come back, squeeze again, go into reverse. And the further you push it, the faster you go. I'm going to come back to some other things after I do the sea trial. Okay, so here's the tachometer with the trim function. As you hit the various mode buttons, you're going to go through the screens. Stereo is on. Speedometer with the fuel gauge uh, down in the bottom. Again, if you hit the mode button, you go through the various functions. There's the hummingbird showing the depth and chart plotter. Your switches down here, uh, right here, I hope you can see that. That's your 12 volt port. And then you have your switches for lights, bilge pump, and your wipers are separate. VHF right here. There's the uh, enclosed head with the porta potty. Sorry, the cushions are a mess, so I will, we'll get them all straightened up before it goes. Of course, you simply close your door there, and then that's the rest of the cabin. Okay, so I'm out in the bay right now. You can see your chart plotter working and your gauges all doing well. I'm going to bring it up to speed, turn around here.